Hey folks, welcome to the Mike North 30 in 5 uh, here on NorthToNorth.com, the Mike North Entertainment Network, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to start right off with happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, this country's in trouble. Happy birthday to you, 50th birthday. He walks out to a Jennifer Hudson singing, people clapping, uh, charging uh, as high as... 30 some thousand dollars where you got a private uh maybe you got to say hi to him in the bathroom at the Aragon ballroom i don't know no you had a private dinner you had drinks but they also charge people an arm and a leg i guess these are the jet setters that uh barack obama's talking about you know time means everything in life people are struggling from coast to coast big people small people in between people people that had money people that don't have money people that never had money and here's a guy walking out just pushing in everybody's face. Your 50th birthday should have been held at the White House, okay? Should have had a quiet meal with your friends and family, maybe a party at the White House. To come to Chicago and to dance and, and sing when this country's in the state, it is. And especially with today, with new reports, the jobless over 400,000, time means everything. He will not. And by the way, uh, yesterday on, and I'm gonna give the, the, the channel, on Fox News yesterday, they played 10 different cuts of Barack Obama from the time he was elected saying, I'm concerned about the jobs. I'm concerned. And they put the dates. He's delivering the same message that he's so, still concerned, okay? It's not going to work. Don't have a birthday party when most of this country is underwater. Uh, 400,000, like I said, the jobless claims are in today. And tomorrow, the jobless claims, okay, for the month will be in it's not going to be pretty ladies and gentlemen it should be 9.2 9.3 again we'll see exactly what happens with that oprah winfrey going to get an honorary oscar the gene hersholtz award uh people like uh kirk douglas had to uh, go into their 80s before they wanted why is oprah winfrey getting an honorary oscar anybody know to try to build up the audience apparently you're seeing this now james earl jones deserves everything he gets the guy's unbelievable as an actor on the same stage, Oprah Winfrey, a talk show host, getting an honorary Oscar. She made the color purple. She's done a couple things, but she does not probably deserve that award. But they're doing it, and I've been down this road before. Hey, you want to get this award? It will build up the gate. They will build up the gate when it comes to Oprah Winfrey. Jerry Lewis let go by uh, the MDA Association, Mus Muscular Dystrophy Association. After, what, 50 years? They finally figured out maybe some funds were being siphoned off or something. There's no explanation and the way that cnn reports it today booted i thought he was in charge i thought he was the man booted i guess chris rock was right hey give the kids some money for a champagne dance because you know what he's been trying and trying doing a great job but i have wonders about a guy who hasn't made a major movie or anything in a long time yet lives a lavish lifestyle like jerry lewis does maybe he saved up his money which is probably a good thing billy maravitz lost some money today bill maravitz the husband of uh ex playboy uh president Christy Hefner, I know Billy very, very well. Uh, insider training, training from 2004 and on. Uh, got fined $170,000 uh, by the Securities Commission. Uh, that's not a good thing. And isn't it funny that Christy Hefner left as president of Playboy about a month ago to go to Canyon Ranch and become their president? And then this thing comes out. And, and they're trying to say that Christie kept telling him, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Well, where, does he, where was he getting the inside information? Where was he getting it? He had to be getting some of it from Christie, don't you think? He had to have charts. He had to know what's going on, or maybe he was just asking around. Not a good day for Bill Maravitz or Christie Hefner. Billy, don't protest it. Just go away, not say a word about this, because if you keep talking about it, you're going to end up in a jam. Believe me when I tell you this. Also, ladies and gentlemen, the Chicago White Sox are done. There's an article in the paper today about Brooks Boyer. Uh, Brooks Boyer saying they got to reevaluate their marketing strategies. Hey, Brooks, you thought you were the cat's meow in 2005, okay? And it's gone like this since. You got to be nicer to the people. You got to give them more. You got to have also, give me a half hour. I'll tell you exactly what you got to do to get more than uh, 100 or 200,000. By the way, the radio voice, WSCR, for a big market team, 12th. They're not even averaging almost 100,000 people in a state that has 8 million people. 
absolutely pitiful. Chicago Cubs, uh, Pittsburgh Pirates go out and get some players. Maybe it destroyed the chemistry. Cubs beat the Pirates again. Pittsburgh in big time trouble. Now today's weather, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a little bit nicer than it's been. It's sunny, nice, pleasant, won't be 150 degrees like it is everywhere else. You've been listening to the Mike North 30 in 5. Have a great day, everybody. Brought to you by Rosemont. I'm Mike North for the Village of Rosemont. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare, you got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it.